That's where we're going with it. I think that's where we're going with it. I think that's where we're going with it. Come, come with me real quick. Come with me real quick. Hold my hand. Originally, I have a question. Um, is there like a double standard on body counts? Hell yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Like yes. In real life? Yes. Yeah. Why? Like you as a woman, you'd be like, it's double standard on body counts. Me personally, <laughs> first of all, you know I'm a woman's woman. So women, in my eyes, can do whatever the fuck they want. If you want to hunch on 100 men, bitch, by all means, that's your coochie. I don't give a fuck. Like, do what you do. Power to you. But in other people's eyes, she's a hoe. Do you Facts. think she's a hoe, though? No. <clears throat> you gonna look at her like a hoe? No. I know because that's men do that. That's what men do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because there's no what does your shirt say? What does your shirt say? The future is female. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she not low. So I live by a different standard. I'm not like after a certain amount. Like uh, I think that there's ways. I think that. But like, why? <laughs> Like, why is it okay for Johnny to sleep with 20 women? Shelly can only sleep with five. Why? I think that as a woman, you got to handle yourself in a different manner than men. So I don't think that as a woman, you should be out sleeping with Tom, Dick, Hop, or John. That's just, that's just. <laughs> do you think if you do it, like it takes away from like you being a woman? Cause I don't. I do. But like, who's just? Like, I'm weird. Like I'm. I swear, I'm fucking weird. Like I'm a millennial, but I have a Gen Z mind. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, like I honestly yes. do. I do because I'm for everything. I'm literally for everything. Like do what you do. That's your business. I don't care. As a like, man with tons of bodies. Yes. As a yes. Please. I'm a hoe. Reform. Not really. Yeah, reform. Okay. But can yeah, you be a reformed reform. hoe because you have had tons of bodies? Facts, for sure, because okay. I ain't hoeing no more. Okay. But, nobody but what made you want to you. stop hoeing? What, 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 what <clears throat> mentality or what? I started to value myself. Really, Thank you. To be honest with you. That's what I mean. Like, and I stopped going out. Realistically, like, I don't know. But here's the, but that's, eh. So, are you saying, like, people who sleep with a lot of people, they don't value themselves? What if you just like sex? No. no you don't value. That's what I mean. Like, as well, like, you have to value yourself and have a certain thing about you. There's women who are literally, like, legal prostitutes. Be, and that, But that, I don't feel like that means they don't value themselves. What about being a prostitute is legal? You, you don't think you... There's legal prostitution. Facts. There's women who are legal prostitutes just because... They like the money. They I was a woman like. I sell my body. So like, then, why are you calling her a hoe? So then, would you call her a hoe? Yeah. That's a profession. So you're. Okay. Professional hoe. Like we use the word <laughs> hoe loosely. Like I don't think it's always like an insult hmm. to be called a hoe. If you're selling no. the twat for money, you're a professional hoe for sure. Like you're just doing it for profit. If I was a woman, I'd sell my body. But hold on. Cow. So, but no. Yeah. So let's just say. <laughs> hey, honey, if you get my hair, my nails, my toes done, you can hunch on me for, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, I had extra day up in there to be hunched on. That's, that's Is that a hoe? That's petty hoe. I, I've never. <laughs> that's petty hoe. Like, I feel like that's petty hoe. That's petty hoe. Like, if you're going you to sell it for, for something, you better sell it for something. You know? Yeah. Not no, not no nails, no toes, like, okay. no bag. Like, get you some money because they're going to pay for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Correct. And that's just the way of life. Uh, so is getting money petty hoeing or is it prostituting? Getting money? What you mean? So is 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 getting the money from your honey prostituting no. or is it just just from random that's men? That's not prostituting. No, 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 that's not. No. Okay. Like that's. Like, I, I like you're okay. <clears throat> it's a difference when you like story time, right? Okay. We tell it. Uh, he, he know this story. We know this story. Uh. So man, I'm in Zulu one time, right? She's like, shit, dude. We get the bitches to buy me moose. Calls the tables up, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is real, this is a real story. I'm right? I'm here for it. 
He said, I can get that person about the pussy. You know what I'm saying? So we like, all right, we make the phone call, whatever, whatever. Um, They come to the room. It's 300. We like, all right, 300 a piece. We, we think we're about to get some. We're like, okay, um, you want to do anything else? It's going to be a little bit more. He said, <laughs> So it was just 300 for them to show up. 300 for them to show up. <coughs> That's professional homework, bro. Yeah. Yeah. They got 300 and they got 300 a piece, 600 dollars for being there for five, 10 minutes. Because once we found out it was more than 300 dollars, nah. I, I'm really concerned that <laughs> that you called <laughs> something. <laughs> <for something. laughs> I, I mean, like in a life in, in a lifetime, a man gotta pay for some pussy one time. I mean, See, men pay for pussy all the time. I just said, no, I've never been told a story that a man is like, $300 just to show up. Were they decent looking? They, and y'all want to pay no more? No. <laughs> no. It was over with. That 300 that was too much. But what's a little bit more, though? It was like, like an extra 300 just for yeah, the hustle, though. Extra two, 250 just something like that. For... But it was over with. We thought we got played already. So. Yeah, y'all did. <laughs> <laughs> we, got played already. Like, we got played already. So that was my last time ever trying to buy some pussy. So. Okay. So. Like, do you think that there's women that those kind of women like have self esteem and are like? I don't think just because you like to fuck means you don't have self esteem. But that's not like, that you're not just you're not just fucking. You're very old fashioned. You're like you're, <laughs> I am very old fashioned. You're not just like you're not just like fucking. Like you're like fucking. All the women that let me fuck on them, they have issues. <laughs> Facts for sure. It's just real, like internal thing. Yeah. I had issues. You feel me? Like realistically, if I'm sitting around here. Fucking on everything. Facts. Like, it's, it was one of the things, like, realistically, bruh. But like, what was the issue that you had within yourself? Um. Because I you say, knew that you could hunch on yeah. Sarah Jane, Bobby, and Susie. Bobby. <laughs> I'm Bobby Joe. <laughs> Bobby Joe and Susie, you would be like, you would be like, okay. <laughs> So you had to, did you have to humble yourself? (laughs) Bobby Joe, my bad. Did you have to humble yourself and bring it down a couple notches? Nah. Because you just said you're a reformed hoe. So what what made you become a reformed hoe? Did you like sit and look in the mirror and be like, all right, this is my my whole list. Not necessarily them, but you. I need to reel it back and think about what I want to do in life. And then I start like actually looking at myself like, it was fucking you. you I missed right there because most people. <laughs> <laughs> I go cap like I probably uh, I double back a few times. I kind of like I slid into a, I slid into a phase, but then it just got to a point to where like it was the fact that they was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm like. I don't even want what you give it. Like, I don't know. Bro. It just got to be too easy. Like, it just got really just got to be like to a point to where like, what do you even want me for? You just want me just because I'm me and like, you get very evaluated. I don't know, bro. It was something that clicked in me. I was like, I'm not gonna keep giving my dick to these women. Like, what? Okay. I need my time. Like, they got other things to do besides constantly, you know? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that body count would have kept going up. Going up, and then what I'm is it? Shit. What is it? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Last random I hit was at that wedding. Wedding. Yeah. What wedding? <laughs> oh God! Oh God! And you know I used to, bro. I was tripping. Like I woke up the next day. Yeah, yeah. I know you called us. For one, what am I doing? You know, like. <laughs> What am I doing? Oh, like, and as the last random I really hit, to be honest with you. Um, That's wild. I don't know. I would say every woman got a whole phase, right? I could be wrong. Women don't really give a fuck about sex like that. Or am I am I just being like cause I feel like I think that a woman's whole phase is um securely monitored. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, it's very monitored. Like, like it's real tight and like. I don't feel like I've had a hoe. Like, what do you? What's a hoe face? That's what I'm saying. Like, women's hoe faces like, are like. What do you mean? And it don't even matter if it's like multiple. It's just like. Like what? So like, I know for me, when I was online dating, I would talk to multiple men, but I was not sleeping with any of those men. And that's not a hoe. And that's like, not that's, a hoe. That's, that's I was Yeah, I was like, I was going on dates. I was trying to decipher which man I was eventually going to hunch on. Fuck, you was hanging out with him. You went hunching. What do you like, mean? Like, I'm not going to be sitting and hanging out with nobody I ain't fucking. What? what? How do you like, get to know people? Now, <laughs> like, I don't even need to get to know no female no more. I'm dead serious. Like, you, I don't want to. Yeah. That shit's just too much of a process. Like it's, it is a process. Turn out to be somebody totally different than what they think. So it's like I don't know. I don't know. I think that you and I have a problem <laughs> just letting go of ourselves and trusting the process. Because how do you? Okay, so question to both of you then: You just want to be single forever. Or how do you, okay, well then how do you get to know somebody if you don't want to talk to them? I, I, I was, no, you know this, I went through a phase and I was like, I don't mind being single forever. Like, and then two weeks and later, then two weeks later, oh my God, I'm so lonely. <laughs> I feel like I've dropped, I've dropped into the, I've, I've, I've already become comfortable with being by myself. Yeah. That's not how, I, no, that's not how I want to live my life at all. No, but I, I feel like you should be comfortable being by yourself. But then I, I, it comes to a point where, like, but people yeah, these days yeah. really just don't. It's so hard. Like, come, like it's like common sense. Like, I like I'm very black and white. I am black and white till the day. I ain't got time for the gray area shit. Like, boom, boom. We're not mixing anything. In here. Most people are in the gray. Uh, I don't have I time for that. Like, look, you gonna get this <laughs> you, gonna get you, like, you want the nigga that don't care? <laughs> Oh, take like, okay. <laughs> I am not in a gray area. So like this is this and this is this and I don't have time for this. So while you're like doing this, I'm like here and here. And whichever one you get while you're doing this is on you. That's insane. I'm very, very independent. So I'm trying not to be so independent that when I say something, I don't sound like a bitch. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm trying hard. I don't so know. Not what you say, but how you say it. I mean, how I say it, like, I want to say yes to you, but then I want to be like, how I say it, exactly what I mean. But I don't want to sound like a bitch. You know what I mean? Do you go out of your way to explain it? I'm an over communicator. Really? Yeah, I'm over. Cause, and that's something I have to. I feel like everybody should communicate like me because I will tell. I will tell. This, and this is how we're getting there. And if you don't follow that, I'm fucking pissed. Because I told you in detail how to do it and what we were doing, and you should have did it. But not everybody, and then when I have a problem, I'll just tell you, I'll okay. talk to you about it. Jose, <laughs> that's, I can't talk to the man. <laughs> so I need to get you, I'm, even, I, I've been that motherfucker for eight years and I'm still not used to that shit. Really? It's still I not feel like it's it. just like a it's it's a it's a it's a defense mechanism. Like, so okay, so say something was bothering you, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it bothered you. You saying it right then and there, or yeah? You waiting? I'm not a waiter. Really? I'm telling you right now, and I don't know how to take people who like to wait, because if there's a problem, let's just talk about it and solve it. What are we waiting for? You are not. You are definitely not a waiter. Really? I'm not a waiter. Not I get in trouble with this in my personal life. At work, I popped off at work and been like, damn, bitch, you could have waited till tomorrow. <laughs> like, you could have slept on that shit. Oh, God. Like, look, <laughs> I've become, see, look, it irritate me, and then I sit on it, and I get to thinking, and that's what really get me Cooks the over. brain. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what uh -huh. really get me over. By the time I done said it, I'm all the way up there already with it. So then I say it, and it might not even be what it is. <laughs> I can't have too much time to think about it. If I get too much time to think about it, look. For real. I'm bringing in shit you did 10 years ago, too. I look good, I look good, I look good, yeah. I look good, I look good.